Alright, what's up everyone? I'm Filoki, and today we're going to be taking a look at a recap of the Week 14 matchup between the now 9-4 Seattle Seahawks and the 0-13 New York Jets. The Seahawks won this game pretty convincingly, and thank God, because the last few seasons, the Seahawks really haven't had any blowout games like this, and it's really nice to see because it's just really exciting to see the offense get going and the defense actually stop other teams from scoring. In this game against a weak Jets team, Russell Wilson definitely looked like he was getting back into the swing of things. He played really well today, 21 for 27, 206 yards, 4 touchdowns. He did have a pretty bad interceptions, but he wasn't sacked today. On the other side for the Jets, Sam Darnold did not have a great day today. 14 for 26, 132 yards, no touchdowns, no interceptions, and he was sacked three times. And a big thing to note for this quarterback comparison for this game is that Russell Wilson did everything that he did in less than three total quarters. There was about two minutes left in the third quarter when Russell Wilson was taken out of the game and Geno Smith was put in along with all the other backups. And honestly, Russell Wilson, I would have liked to see him go out, get five, six touchdowns this game, but it definitely makes sense to keep the starters healthy and go in to this playoff run because we are most likely making the playoffs. And when it came to the run game, Seattle just completely dominated this aspect of the game. Chris Carson had a really nice game. The Jets didn't do very well in the run game. And honestly, we just completely dominated on the offensive and defensive side of the football. Chris Carson had 12 carries for 76 yards and a touchdown, well over six yards a carry. Carlos Hyde had 15 carries for 66 yards. He was playing when those backups were put in. So honestly, just a really good game for us. We had a couple kind of trick plays. I don't know if that's what you call it, but where we had wide receivers running the ball. We had Penny Hart get 19 yards on one and David Moore had a pretty decent one too. We played pretty well. Honestly, Russell Wilson didn't have to run around too much. He had a pretty good game. The offensive line played pretty well, but this was against a bad Jets team, but this definitely helps us pick up our momentum going into future games. And for the receiving game for the Seahawks, Russell Wilson was definitely sharing the ball today. Four different receivers got a touchdown. Will Disley, DK Metcalf, David Moore, and Freddie Swain all had a touchdown. Would have been nice to see Tyler Lockett get one because he really hasn't been getting too much production the past few weeks, but he still had a pretty good game, had some couple nice catches, but really everyone was getting involved today and it was really nice to see. And when it came to the defense for the Seahawks this game, they played really well. They had three sacks, they had seven tackles for loss. KJ Wright was just blowing up running plays just playing absolutely amazing today. Snacks Harrison actually had a forced fumble I believe today. He had a couple tackles too. He was playing pretty decent today. Bobby Wagner of course played really well today and Jamal Adams he had a sack today to put him at eight and a half on the season which does break the NFL record for most sacks by a defensive back. Just I mean really good for him and he's missed a few games and he still has a few games to go. He'll probably have over 10 sacks this season and that's really good for a defensive back which I mean he's kind of like a linebacker for us but still really good accomplishment for Jamal Adams there. One thing that I didn't like seeing from the Seahawks defense today was their inability to catch because they had three different interceptions that would have been easy interceptions that they just dropped and that would have definitely changed the game. We probably could have had a couple more offensive drives, maybe a couple more touchdowns, a couple pick sixes. I know Jamal Adams early in the game could have had a pick six easily. He jumped the route, amazing coverage, but he just dropped the ball and uh, that was really unfortunate. But we did have a few dropped interceptions that I would have liked to see us intercept and actually get the ball back, maybe getting a pick six. But honestly, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We won the game, still did pretty well on defense. And when it came to the Jets defense, I just wanted to say one thing, and that was that Ashton Davis didn't play. He was on the injury report, completely missed him. Apparently, he's their starter. I thought Marcus May was their starter, but either way, Marcus May came in as the backup safety, and he actually got a pick. So honestly, I thought Marcus May was the starter for the Jets, but apparently Ashton Davis was, and I missed him on the injury report. So my bad on that, but Marcus May came in, got an interception on a pretty bad throw for Russell Wilson. But the big thing for this game, the thing that we learned the most about the Jets from was their kicker. Apparently, they don't have a single good spot on this roster. They have a punter that did pretty well. Their offense didn't do great. Their defense didn't do great. And of course, their kicker, he missed three field goals today. One for four, absolutely atrocious. He hit one wide right, then he hit one wide left. And I don't even know what he was doing today, but he's probably going to get cut. But man, that kicker, he did not have a good day today. They probably could have had 12 points easily, but we held them to three because their kicker can't actually kick. But of course, I mean, this was kind of expected. The Seahawks were a huge favor going into this game. And thank God they actually won this game by a lot. A big blowout was something that we really needed because really we've been losing games to bad teams. We've been barely beating bad teams. We do not like to see that. So honestly, I definitely am glad that we won this game very convincingly and Russell Wilson that interception that he had was just a really bad interception it was an underthrow to DK Metcalf and it was just picked off just a really bad throw from Russell Wilson I would like to see Russell Wilson go into next game against the Washington football team who played absolutely amazingly today on defense they had a pick six they had a scoop and score touchdown for Chase Young we really have to watch out for Chase Young next week because my god that dude was making plays yesterday and I mean 
Honestly, the Seahawks, they need to keep their momentum going on offense. Hopefully, Russell Wilson can keep the ball secure, not turn the ball over, because we win games when Russell Wilson keeps the turnovers low. I'm pretty sure in games that Russell Wilson has had one or fewer turnovers, we're 9-0, and and games where Russell Wilson's had more than one turnover, we are 0-4, of course. So I think that, honestly, if, if Russell Wilson can keep the turnovers down, I think that allows us to have a really good chance to win games, because our defense is really getting into gear. They're doing a lot better now. They're definitely playing with a lot more chemistry, even when the backups came in they were playing really well. Shaquem Griffin had a nice sack today. Honestly, it was really nice to see this game. It was one of the good games that we've had this season, being able to watch the offense do good, watch the defense do good. I really enjoyed watching this game today. And of course, like I mentioned before, the starters were pulled before the fourth quarter, but one thing that I noticed when those backups were in, Colby Parkinson, he is a very good tight end, our rookie tight end. He had two targets, two catches, just made some pretty good plays. He has some secure hands from what I saw. I mean, he had a couple good blocks. He had some nice catches. So I would like to see Colby Parkinson maybe get into the rotation a little bit more. Of course, we have Will Disley. We have Jacob Hollister. We have some good tight ends, but Colby Parkinson, I would not be surprised if we see him used a little bit more. He definitely showed that he can catch some pretty tough passes. That was a pretty big highlight. Colby Parkinson made some nice plays. But overall, I mean, this was a game that the Seahawks were supposed to win and they were supposed to win by a lot and they definitely did win by a lot. It was really nice to see. I'm pretty sure this is our biggest margin of victory since 2012. But I mean, this was a really good game for us. We have not won a game by more than two scores in a long time. So it was nice to see us win this game, take a big fat dub against the Jets, go into next week against the Washington football team who have actually been playing really well recently defensively and their offense has been all right. Dwayne Haskins might be playing for that game. So honestly, no idea what's happening with Alex Smith. He went out early on in the game, but this was definitely a very solid victory for the Seahawks. Really nice to see. I'm glad that we actually could beat a team that we were supposed to beat by more than like a touchdown or lose, you know? I, I'm, I'm glad we won this game. I'm glad we won this game better than the Raiders did. Good game all around. Of course, Russell Wilson, I would like to see him not have the interception that he had, but still four touchdowns. You really can't be mad about that. So overall, really good game for the Seahawks. And the, the backups came in. They actually had a pretty good game too. Of course, Geno Smith didn't really get as much going as Russell Wilson did, but still overall, really good game for the Seahawks. And I really enjoyed watching it. But with that, that's going to do it for this video. And let me know what you thought about this game. Not really too much to talk about. This is a bad Jets team. That's probably going to go 0-16 this season. This is a good Seahawks team, which has looked bad certain weeks, but they're still on track to possibly win a Super Bowl. But honestly, good game for the Seahawks. Really enjoyed watching it. And I hope you guys did too. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a great day. And before this video ends, I just wanted to show off one of my favorite things that I get to do after we lose the game and then win the next week. It is taking the W and taking the L and swapping sides, handing Russell Wilson the W and handing the L to the other team. Just a great feeling. Nothing better than this.